All right, good evening, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started with Coach. Um, please make sure to use the raise hand function at the bottom of your screen if you have a question. Ben, go ahead. Coach, can you talk about the decision to go with Keegan Jones on the fourth down uh, play call there? Yeah, he was the back that was in the game at that time, you know, and um, thought we needed a yard, you know, and Keegan's um, a good solid runner for us, so uh, we just came up a little short. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Coach, what can you what, what can you say about uh, some of the one on ones uh, with uh, USC's offense with the guys, uh, you know, taking on some of the top receivers uh, and unfortunately getting either scores or big yardage. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a back and forth deal, you know, and and, and, um, and I think our kids on defense played really well. Uh, you knew going into the game with the talented receiver core that they had uh, that it was going to be a difficult matchup, but I thought our kids competed. Um, but they just made one more play than we did. Additional questions here for Coach? Ben, go ahead. Mm -hmm. two, you had two pretty important special teams breakdowns, the punt mm -hmm. and the golf at the end. How, how, how crucial were those? Yeah, and in a close game like this, um, we, we, you know, we knew going into it that teams had to be a big factor. I thought RJ did a great job kickoffs all day long until, uh, you know, didn't even allow them to get a return. He was he was really smashing the ball, but um, we have to be able to cover a kick, uh, and, and we didn't, um, especially in that situation because it was a field goal game, you know. So you, you got to prevent them from getting over midfield because um, it it was it was uh, inside of three. So um, you know we got to get that fixed. Joe Reedy. Chip, did their did they their offense make adjust what what adjustments did their offense make in the second half or was it just more a matter of your guys' mistakes? No, I think they're I mean, obviously I think Keaton Slovis is one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, you know, and, and um I don't think anybody thought you were gonna come in here and shut them out. Um but you know, it was uh kind of a heavyweight fight. You you gotta you're just trading blows, you know, and they hit one, then we hit one, and then we hit one, and then they hit one, and then uh, you know, we, we had a shot at the end. We had the ball at the end. Uh, we got the ball at the end zone. James Williams. Uh, Chip, can you talk about Mo Austin's performance tonight? Uh, yeah, I'd have to watch this film specifically, but I, you know, I love Mo because Mo competes, uh, and I thought he was really competitive uh, out there tonight and made some plays, uh, had a big sack. Um, but, you know, I couldn't give you the specifics until we really get a chance to break down the film. Tracy Pearson. Um, hey, Chip. Until maybe that interception that uh, Dorian threw, it seemed like he was he was having a very good game throwing more accurately. Tell us about what you thought about his performance and if you saw more from him tonight. Yeah, I thought Dorian played really well. You know, you know, he came back last week at Arizona State and really just practiced on Wednesday. Uh, Miss Monday to Tuesday, you know, so we had a training uh, this week and I thought it really showed. I thought he threw the ball with command um, and did some really, really nice things. I, uh, I don't know what's fine. I think 30 or 36 um, and four touchdowns, you know. Um, the, in one I thought was on our bench, it was a heck of a play by Talanoa. And, you know, I think he's one of the best, if not the best safety in the country. Um, it's a really good play by the kid. Hey, Clay. Obviously, the defense. Just a couple more questions here for Coach. Had a few mistakes um, in the first half, especially with missed tackles. I didn't. General Sons. What was the difference, especially coming into that second half? Ben, go ahead. That led to how, how hard is it? Uh, I mean, you guys had leads of 28-10, 35-23, and then it looked like Nicholas was going to be the hero tonight. Uh, to give up all that in, in a back-and-forth game, how hard is it? Anytime you lose, it's hard, and especially when you lose a close game. You know, so it, there's not – I don't think you quantify, you know, that it, we lost this way or we lost that way. I think it's it's difficult, and it, and it hurts. Um, and it hurts because they put so much into it, you know, and that, that's what we talked about in the locker room, that it, it really hurts. Um, if you don't work very hard and it's really not that important to you, if you go out and lose, well, wasn't that big a deal. But this group 
it's got an unbelievable work ethic and an unbelievable um, camaraderie and, and commitment to each other. And um, and when you lose as a group, like we lost tonight, uh, it hurts. Final one here for Coach Tracy. Go ahead. Hey, it seems like their uh, the USC's offense, their pass protection, was able to pick up some of your pressures a little bit more effectively. Would you say that was true? And what were they doing to do that? Um, you know, I thought they they obviously have a system that they run, and they've been very successful. I think against everybody they played. I mean, I, you watch a game against Washington State last week; they threw four touchdowns in the first quarter. You know, so um, you know when you have someone as talented as Keaton um, in that group of receivers, and, and they did a good job in the offensive line. And you know, you talk to Clay; um, they finally got everybody back and had a chance to practice this week. So um, you know, they I thought they did a nice job. Uh, you know, Tito made a nice, did a nice job and split them once for a sack. And then I thought Mo had one. Um, I don't have the numbers in front of me for the other ones, but um, you know, we knew going into it again. Like I said earlier, we, we weren't going to shut them out. We, you know, they're going to get theirs. You know, in terms of what they do, um, we just had to be able to match them. Um, and and uh, we had a shot. You know, we had the ball at the end, um, but we couldn't finish it off. All right. Thank you for your time, Coach. All right, everyone, we've got Dorian Thompson Robinson here. Questions for Dorian, please use the raise hand function. We'll go ahead and get started with Ben Bolch. Dorian, how hard is this one to take? You guys played really well. You had a great game. Defense played well for the most part, just a couple of uh, special teams breakdowns, and then they made some some amazing plays at the end. Yeah, um, you know, this isn't a normal game, um, and this isn't a normal loss. So, you know, this one hurts. Um, but the good thing is we get to go back on Monday and we got one more game. So uh, we can put this one to rest after watching the film and, and move on to next week. So, Mike, go ahead. Hey, Dorian, two questions. Um, it seemed like the, uh, at times the uh, uh, run game uh, kind of sputtered a bit. You know, can you talk about that? Uh, and also on the opposite end, uh, can you talk about Greg Dulcich? He came up big once again in, in key moments. Yeah, um, for the run game, you know, I'd have to go back and look at film. Um, I thought it was good for the most part. Um, you know, at some points we were off a little bit with the signals and stuff like that and trying to get guys lined up. We were going a lot of tempo and stuff like that. So, um, you know, but at the end of the day, I got to go back and watch the film and, and see for the full analysis and stuff like that. So, and then with Greg, um, you know, you guys know he's my roommate and stuff. So uh, we have a wonderful connection. He's worked his tail off um, this whole off season. Um, and continues to, and, and it shows on the field, and, and he's producing really well, and I'm really proud of him and really happy for him right now. Additional questions for Dorian? Go ahead and use the raise hand function. Ben, go ahead. What was kind of the scene in the locker room? How did you guys kind of support each other after a tough one like this? Yeah, I'd say it was uh, the quietest it's ever been. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, Coach does a great job rallying the guys. Um, we know it's going to hurt, um, obviously. But, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to get back there on Monday and, and get ready to work for next week. So, All right, everyone. Questions for Clinton Lake. Please use the raise hand function. We'll go ahead and get started here. Mike. Hey, Quinn, tough loss, and obviously you guys take it one game at a time. You know, this definitely hurts, but what are you going to take away from this game going forward? Um, you know, there were a lot of good things, um, especially in the first half. Um, I think the defense played really well. Um, but to answer your question, I think the biggest thing we got to do is <clears throat> just keep a level head and not get complacent. Um, you know, we were making a lot of plays in the first half, and I think, you know, sometimes that can get to your head and you think you got the game, you know, you know, within, you know, in the palm of your hand, but you know, obviously that wasn't the case. Um, you know, it's unfortunate the outcome, but you know, there's a lot of good things that came out of it. But I, I think the main thing is just don't get complacent. We got to finish. Um, you know, that game was that that game should have been ours. Um, you know, point blank period. So it's tough, but you know, we got to prepare for the next one. And go ahead. Did you feel like they changed anything in the second half, uh, or did you guys just not make the plays you needed to? Um, at the end of the day, you know, we're the player, so we got to make the plays. Um, you know, there wasn't really anything um, in terms of their scheme. Um, 
you know, they just said, you know, they 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 thought their athletes were better than ours, and that was it. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, no, I didn't see any scheme change in terms of what they were doing. Any other questions for Quentin here? Rick, go ahead. How do you bounce back after a disappointing loss? Like you said, I mean, it was a very winnable game. Yeah, um, you know, it all comes down to film. Um, you know, watch the film either tonight or tomorrow, um, you know, correct the things we need to correct. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we played one hell of a game. So, I mean, whether or not, you know, the outcome, you know, I'm very proud of the team, but, you know, we just gotta, like I said, finish. Um, you know, make the plays that need to be made, um, you know, just be clutch and clutch times. So, you know, we're going to look at the film, correct the mistakes we need to correct, and then, you know, come out <clears throat> ready to win um, next week. How about your mentality? How do you bounce back mentally from a loss that basically, you know, you left a win on the field? How do you bounce back from that? Um, I mean, I'm, I think everybody's hurt. Um, you know, there's no, uh, you know, we'll get him next time. You know, this one hurts, um, especially the way it ended, um, you know. But <clears throat> you have to look at the positive side, like I said, and just know that, you know, there were a lot of good things that came out of it um, and use those good things and repeat them next week and then correct the bad things. Um, you know, it's going to be tough. Um, this will probably be weighing on my mind for, you know, tonight and tomorrow, but um, just knowing I got to come, you know, on Monday, ready to work. So, I mean, it's it's tough, but, you know, you just got to know we have another opportunity to go out there and play football, play UCLA football again. So, um, you know, using that as, you know, a little kickstart to, you know, up our morale. But, you know, this one hurts. It does. All right. Anything else for Quentin tonight? <clears throat> okay, Quentin, we'll let you go. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone. That's going to conclude tonight's availability. Thanks for your patience.